Next, we're going to set up how we're going to connect to the network. To do so, we'll use the scroll arrows to scroll down to the setup option, use the select button to enter, and then we'll select network integration with the select button. Now we can decide if it's a rooftop standalone unit using thermostatic controls. We can use the gray arrows to scroll between our available options such as L-Connect or BACnet like we'll use in this example. Pressing the save button will lock in the value and take us to the next screen where we'll set our MAC address, our baud rate from the variable selections available to us, our control mode, whether it's control only or network thermostat or a room sensor. We can set if we have a CO2 sensor, a relative humidity sensor, a network temperature sensor. We can set the occupied blower mode of operation. We can set our backup mode and we'll return back to the network integration screens. From there we can press the main menu button. We'll view any current alarms. We can push the back button and then the select button to view the current status. Or simply from the main menu press the back button again to see that we're now controlled in the back net mode. It'll display our temperatures and all of the options that we need to know for our configuration. Thanks for joining us today on our review of the new Prodigy 2.0 control board. For more information regarding Prodigy 2.0, please contact your Lennox sales representative or visit www.lennoxcommercial.com backslash prodigy.